All right, guys. Uh, I know we haven't had the best run or the best luck, but I really, really need one of you guys to pop up in this box. Like, please, I'm about to crack it for the community and for the trading card family. I need them to see that there's still potential in this set. I mean, people are already saying you guys are worse than Battle Styles. Like, how am I supposed to beat that? Like, no one likes Battle Styles. You guys are better than Urshifu. So do you think, like, maybe one of you guys can pop up in this box? Like, please? <laughs> you can't. Why not if it's that? What's going on, trading card family? So here we have it, my third Chilling Rain bots that I have opened. And it may be the last, but honestly, I'm just here to prove to y'all and the rest of the world that Chilling Rains is not the Nets battle styles. So let's see if this bots can prove it. All right, here's my third Pokemon Chilling Rain bots. And I'm crafting it for the trading card family because we gotta know, is Chilling Rains worth it? I personally love this set. I think a lot of people love this set and can't complain about the awesome alt arts, but it's more or less the pull rates. So far, I think we've fared pretty good on the two boxes, but I know we can do better. So we're gonna do sleeve at a time in this booster box and see what happens. And hopefully we see some magic happen. Because really, we just want to pull one of the alt tarts at least, preferably a bird. I know that's probably everyone's mindset, but we'll see if this bots can do it. This is three bots in, and I've had a lot of friends not pull that rate of stuff, unfortunately. But I figure someone from the group has to, am I right? I mean, we had all our circle of friends that crack open some Pokemon, you know? So, someone's got to get lucky, am I right? Let's see, Psychic Energy, Clara, Haunter, Flannery, Inke, Rockruff, Ghastly, Ladybug, Porygon, Credent, and Blissey V. So that is the first hit, we got one hit, as well as we'll see like how the hit rates are, right? So on average we've gotten eight out of our two boxes each. Uh, the first one nine, the first one seven. So that is our first hit, and uh, hopefully this isn't a copycat of a uh, I think it was the first bots we opened where we got a Blissey V right in the beginning. Steel Energy, Peonia, Whirlpeed, Crushing Gloves, Furrowfoe, Venipedes, Feel, Crab Crawler, Golet, Cast Form, and a Dallade non foil for the rare. Water Energy, Fog Crystal, Brawly, Celio, Sobble, Bone Sweet, Furifo, Diglett, Larvesta, Single Strike Stroller Piercing, and a Saw's Bush. Rare. Pulling heat on this one. And that was the first joke of this one. Dark Energy, Raboot, Aditha, Fog Crystal, Coughing, Deli Bird, Galarian Farfetch'd, Porygon, Heracross, Spirit Tomb Reverse, and a Dolurk Rare. Alright. After this bot, I'm really going to put together a Master Set and see how much we're missing. I mean, obviously it's going to be a lot of the uh, Secret Rares, but I mean, I had friends that opened 100 plus packs by now and they're like, man, I have a Master Set. It's up for, you know, the 34 secret rares there are in this set. But nonetheless, I mean, I love the artwork. I love what Pokemon's doing, because I feel like alt arts just tell so much more of a story than just, you know, hey, here's the Pokemon on the card. Adron, that's for you, Ryan. <laughs> it's one of my boys. He put me on blast on the, my uh, earlier one of my earlier videos, because uh, he said Adron's his favorite Pokemon, so or one of his favorites, so... Gotta make sure to give a shout out for all the Adron lovers. But yeah, I mean, the alt arts are just awesome. They tell more of a story. You feel like it brings the card, or the Pokemon in the card to life more so. It's definitely something to love. And we got something behind Larion. Delarion Slow Team V. All right. Go ahead and sleeve these up really quick. 
I don't know if it's because they're printing the set so much, but I will say one of my complaints, and it's not so much with the alt arts that I've seen those get pulled, but some of the Vs just like bend as soon as they come out of the pack. And I don't know if that's just their mass producing the set or what, but you may want to look into that Pokemon quality control. And let me know in the comments if you had the same issue. I think I left like uh, from one of my bots pulls, I left, uh, I think it was the second one, I left a bunch of Vs out, and literally the next day I came home from work and they were literally all like curled up already and I'm like really he's like just got pulled like sure if you leave it out for like a month maybe but come on now before we go on two hair across cast forms feel Hatina, rock rough venipede and a Porygon Z foil for the rare I know we're gonna get those birds I mean the way they antagonize me I gotta do it. <clears throat> Fire Energy, Agatha, Flannery, Peony, NK, Rock Ruff, Ghastly, Ladyba, Porygon, Flannery, Ice Rider, Calyrats, V Mats. All right, we have not pulled that yet. That is like our first truly big hit. Sure, it's hit number three, but I mean, look at that. That card looks beautiful. Once again, though, kind of curling. That's kind of odd, but I did it. It could be the foiling on the card stock. But nonetheless, first big hit, I can get down with that. And personally, I'm one of the few that enjoy Ice Rider a lot more than Shadow Rider. That's just me though. Lightning Energy, Fog Crystal, Hatterim, Drizzle, Venipedes, Feel, Crab Crawler, Brawler. Golette, Porygon, Frostlass, Weevil, Foil. Very nice. I do like Weevil a lot. I wish they would do like a Weevil VMATS or even like a gold card. I think it, it's a pretty like uh, underappreciated Pokemon, but maybe that's just my opinion. I may hold the unpopular opinion on that. Fire Energy, Brawly, Celio, Plara, Delarian Slowpoke, Weedle, Tlabopus, Mareep, Ralts, Reverse Zebra Strike, and Paserna. But hit me up in the comments. I love getting back to everyone. Let me know what your pull rates have been like with Chilling Rain. Did you pull your Ultimate Chase card, or has it been rough? I mean, I think it's been rough for everyone. But who knows? Psychic Energy, Stroll of Piercing, Avery, Thwatty, Golette, Deerling, Sneasel, Delarian Farfetch, Furrofo, Reverse Sub Viper, Karen's Conviction, Full Art. So, I will say something about this. I'm happy that we pulled this. This is awesome. But I've noticed that when people get a Full Art like this in their bots, they normally get a Gold card with it, Vice, you know, a bigger pull. I could be wrong. I don't really know how Pokemon prints their cards. It could be a thing. We'll just have to figure it out. I hope that that's not where this bot leads us down. Because uh, by default I may have to say it's like another unfavorable set. But we're about to figure it out right now. So let's see. Steel Energy. Stroll of Skies, Corellia, Fog Crystal, Score Bunny, Shuppet, Tube Food, Blitzel, Quillfish, Reverse Ghastly, and a Delorean Wheezing for the rare. Ooh. Technical difficulties. Water Energy, Kakuna, Terran's Conviction, Echoing Horn, Sobble, Inke, Squovet, Score Bunny, Diglett, Melanie, and Single Strike Urshifu V. And you should have stayed in the last set. Did I say that out loud? Dark Energy, Lucky Energy, Porygon 2, Raboot, Snow Runt, Bone Sweet, Tube Foo, Inke, Diglett, 
Kung Fu Reverse and pass him in. Another one that should have stayed in the last set. Leaf Energy. Expedition Uniform, Hatterim, Flaffy, Coughing, Delibird, Farfetch, Porygon, Heracross, Galarian, Slowpoke, and an Ampharos for the rare. Rough. I have an army of Ampharoses now. So we're at four hits and we're looking to hit that eight mark. We'll see what happens. We're coming to the end of the first side of a booster box and we'll see what we get. Dynatree Hill and a Slurpuff. I don't know if we pulled Slurpuff yet. Let's we'll look into that. Honestly, I think Pokemon needs to go back to the drawing board because this is looking rough. Fighting Energy, Crabominable, Stroll of Piercing, Melanie, Swirlet, Sneasel, Snover, Blitzel, Ghastly, a Reverse Farfetch'd, or Surfetch'd rather, and a Sub Viper for the rare. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been complaining, like, they don't think Pokemon knows what they're doing with the printing, but, like, it's kind of a fact. I mean, if you looked at, like, the Japanese sets, the pull rates are just, like, I mean, it can be rough, but it's still, like, overall good, you know? Like, you feel like it's in sight, like, hey, it's worth it for me to buy this booster bots, but with some of these new sets, you really just don't know and until you open it and see what people say. But, yep, Hatterim, or Hatterene, and Strolopede. Why is this a rare? Why is this a rare Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, maybe they should go back to the drawing board, like, because it really doesn't make sense. You'd think that like the alt arts would be going for more than what they are right now, but it, at this point, it's almost not even worth it to open it, the bots, for the alt arts. You might as well just buy the singles that you really feel like you shouldn't live without because you're going to spend less than what a bots costs. So it just makes me think that bots are going to go significantly down in price soon, or all products. Rapid Strike Stroll of the Skies, Galarian, Rugeus. Rune Rugeus, yeah. Cause I mean, look at that. I opened uh, like 19 packs right there, and we have four hits that cost in total uh, what, maybe ten dollars. And that's a bit maybe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not much more than that. Fire energy, echoing horn, stroll of piercing, Avery, Patina, Auron, Ralts, Venipede, Bone Sweet, Lapras. Shadow Rider Calyrats V, and that is an alt art. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'll take back what I said. And it's, oh, well, it's not an alt art, sorry. It's a full art. I apologize. But nonetheless, cool hit. Hopefully we get some more like it. So this is kind of interesting. I can't remember if people who pulled the gold card boxes also got one of those too, like a full art, but. I'll pull it with some other videos, but I do know that like most of the time when you pull some full art stuff, you're not gonna get like some heat heat. So we'll see. I mean we have a couple pats left and we'll have to see if this bots is actually worth it. I mean we still should be getting a secret rare because there's normally one per bots, but we'll see. Delarnia Most and Slurpuff. Also don't know why that's a rare. Maybe for the TCG effect, I'd have to look at what the card does, but doesn't seem worth it. Alright. Steel Energy, Hatterim, Flaffy, Terrence Conviction, Castform, Ladyba, Golette, Clavapus, Castform, Quillfish, and a Frostlass. Not, not the white card pack we were looking for. Well played, Pokemon. Well played. Water Energy, Whirlpeed, Delarian Chestplate, Flaffy, Deerling, Delarian Slowpoke, Coughing, Yamast, I see something coming up, Snow Run, Lucky Energy Reverse, 
Delorean Zapdos V. All right. So, looks like we kind of beat the birds at their own game. We got one in this bot so far. However, uh, if Pokemon Center is willing to give these away for free because they messed up a product, uh, yeah, it's probably not that great of a card. Nonetheless, hit number six, so that's a positive way to look at it. We got hit number six on this box, and we have a decent amount of packs left, so I mean, we're still waiting to see what that secret rare is that we pull from this box. If there is one, this could be an air box where we don't get a secret rare, and that'd be rather unfortunate if they gave us two, maybe $10 full arts. One of them may be 20, but that's just because people like Shadow Rider. There you go, Adron again, giving that Adron love. Alright, on to the next pack. Come on, Chilling Reigns, restore the community's faith that it, it's worth it to open these packs. Leaf Energy, Peony, Caitlyn, Luck E Energy, Fruity, Marie, Rock Ruff, Swirlitz, Lapras, Deerling Reverse, and Zebra Strike. Fighting Energy, Haunter, Flannery, Crabominable, Castform, Snover, Delarn Yamas, Toffing, Shuppet, Steeny, and what do we have here? Ball Canyon V for a hit. Alright. You know what? That's a hit. So we can't deny that. So in theory, we have about, let's see here, eight packs left. There should be a secret rare in this. Now, I don't know if there is going to be, but I'm saying there should be. So let's just hope we pull one, because if not, these bosses may be a little more rough than we had anticipated, I guess I would say, because that was kind of the standard. Everyone expected it one, and even that was treacherous within itself, because that means I have to open 34 boxes and hope I hit all 34 secret rares. Galarin Otterkuna V. All right, so now we're rounding up more of the birds, not their alt art version, which is unfortunate, but nonetheless, it's a bird hit. It's like I may have stared him when I pulled out that Ultra Ball. Lightning Energy, Welcoming Lantern, Flora, Brawly, Snow Run, Vinipede, Snover, Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Lapras, and Ice Rider Tally Rats V Mats. If that could even be made up. Uh, so we pulled this for a second time now, and the funny thing is, the same exact thing happened to one of my friends when he opened a box. He got two Ice Rider Tally Rats. As, it was either Ice Rider or Shadow Rider, I can't remember. And uh, then it was followed by a gold card. So I hope I'm not predicting the way they print cards too much. I don't even know how they would organize that that well when they're printing cards and cutting sheets and stuff, but I'm sure they have a pretty good algorithm for it since they've been doing it for so long. But this is looking rough. So we have nine hits, but nothing really to write home about. And this could be depressing. Fighting Energy, Dynatree Hill, Terrence Conviction, Porygon 2, Ladybug, Golette, Plobopus, Castform, Patina, Sneasel Reverse, and Gallade. It's almost like we didn't just have that same cookie cutter patch two minutes ago. I know, that's not realistic, guys. It was longer than two minutes, but I'm, I'm saying. It's like the same thing. Fire Energy, Flaffy, Path to the Peak, Lydian, Squovet, Crab Brawler, Drooji, Score Bunny, Auron, Squovet, and Volcarana. Another awesome, awesome rare. Yeah, look at that. My pile of uh, reverses is so high that it just keeps falling in shot. I mean, Pokemon can't wait to get rid of these reverse foils. Psychic, Raboot, Agatha, Stroll of the Skies, Sphiel, Swirlitz, Yamas, Castform, Castform, Thunderous, Zandoose.
uh, Pokemon, you're really depressing me because, like, honestly, I'm feeling these cards and they're just, uh, bending. And look at the cuts on these. Like, what are they cutting them by hand over there? Steel, Caitlyn, Lucky Energy, Delarian Chestplate, Sneasel, Castform, Larvesta, Sobble, Ladybug, Go Lurk Reverse, and a Delarian Weezing. Again. We're down to three paths. This is three shots at a Seeker Rare. If we don't get a Seeker Rare, I honestly won't be able to look past this set anymore because this is just ridiculous. Like, three boxes? Come on, you should hit some sick alt arts, and I haven't hit one. Water Energy, Larion, Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Snover, Delarnia Moss, Coughing, Shuppet, Swovet, Ralts, and a Gold Welcoming Lantern. All right, huge hit. Unfortunately, this concludes my theory that when you get a certain order of Pokemon cards or a certain pulls and a bots, it's what your predisposition to get. So this is like my friend, I think, got the gold psychic energy and he pulled two Tally Rats V Matses. Uh, or if you pull like one of these other full arts and you did a gold welcoming lantern. Like, come on, Pokemon. You guys are better than that. Like, there's a reason people love your game and love cracking boxes, but two sets in a row where you just really regret it? I mean, come on. Yep. Yeah. Oh. My millionth delayed in Go Lurch. And you know me, I'm always positive and optimistic. I'm still gonna crack probably some chilling rains, but like, honestly, how can anyone wanna buy a box of this set if, like, the first stuff you did? Yeah, there you go. It's a green card. Don't worry. Like, how can you want to open a bots if this is the stuff you see, right? Awesome. So, with that being said, we're going to head to our outro. But we got 10 hits, which is the most we've gotten from a bots. Unfortunately, they just weren't really worth anything. Which stinks. But, we'll keep on trading pats and we'll see what happens. Alright, trading card family. I'm going to try and say this as optimistically as I can. Uh, don't buy bots of these. Wait till the prices go down. I feel like it's going to do the same thing with Chilling Rains is what happened with Battle Styles, where you can get boxes of Battle Styles for like $80, $90. Like, you can't even give them away. And my message to Pokemon is look out for your LGSs. I mean, the United States community with the English sets is probably a huge profit margin for you, but you're driving people away from these sets in droves. I mean, I've seen so many friends say they're done with Pokemon from having bat-to-bat -bat Battle Styles and Chilling Rain. Like, they don't want to open the cards anymore. And my question is, why are the pull rates the way they are? It's pretty absurd. I just opened three booster boxes, and I haven't pulled one alt art. And that's just my experience. Now you take in all the other factors and all the other people around the country that are having the same issue. I mean, it's just not worth it. Especially when you can go on a website like eBay or any of these third-party sites and get the card you wanted for a fraction of the price of a booster box. It's rough. It's rough. I had hopes with the first two boxes, but this is rough. And I'm putting it about at the same level as Battle Styles, but I'd say the only difference is Battle Styles had enough, or a low enough amount of Seeker Rares where it was actually tangible to pull them. But even in this set, you know, one of the Seeker Rares you can pull is that Rainbow card, and then it's a trainer card that's worth $20. So then you just ask yourself, well, I really didn't even want this card, and if I did, it would have only been $20 on eBay. So, Pokemon, I recommend you go back to the drawing board. Uh, some of these cards, like, they're cut by hand. And whatever you did to the card stock, these cards are bending. Like, you can blow on it, and the card's in a snap in half. They're that feeble. So, I love Pokemon. I'm not going to stop opening it or collecting it, because it's just my favorite card game. But look out for the community, because if you're trying to get new people in, people aren't going to be about it. And people that were about it are leaving it. So, let's see what you can do to fix this problem for the community. But uh, until next time, Trading Art Family, thanks for checking out this new content. And be on the lookout. We've got a lot more awesome stuff on the way. Um, and keep in mind, I really highly recommend you just buy the alt arts or whatever single it is that you want over buying a bots. Unless you really want to support your LGS, which I'm two thumbs up right behind you. But the pull rates are extremely rough in Chilling Rains. And that's not going to change. So until next time, I'm the Trading Card Bro. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification because we've got a lot more awesome content on the way. Peace.